Hey everybody, let's try this again. I'm Keith Wright, Century 21 Wright & Associates in Portland, Oregon. The topic today is how to profile customers and win relationships. Many people have asked me recently in the last year and last months, how do I do what I do with everything that's going on? When they ask, when they're asking, how did I get those clients into those groups? How did I get into those groups and how ultimately it has created a wonderful life when it seemed like many of the things that were going on in the recent days were the most difficult because of the personal medical issues that we were going through. I want to give good advice around this so I started writing and three hours later in the middle of last night I was finished with many pages. There were so many directions I could go so I've narrowed it down and I've got some notes and uh, I really struggled with what to say today so I'm going to share a couple of things that really made a difference that others have told me made a difference and what I think makes a difference. This is going to be a little bit longer than usual. I could easily just say you have to develop relationships, get involved and be engaged with people and groups of people and organizations both offline and you must ask for the business. But that wouldn't really tell you what and how what I've done over the last few years, five years in real estate. Here's a personal story that helped change things for me over the last several years. It does help that my family and I have lived in the same community for over 50 years and close to 70% of our business is referral business. As the president of our real estate company, president of the Century 21, president of our property management company and investment company also, we survived the last recession when over 50% of all the companies disappeared overnight. It was brutal and we almost didn't make it. What helped us then and now is we learned how to work by referral. See buffiniandcompany.com for more information on that. I've talked about how to build referral business many times on our video blog www.mrc21 or Mr. C21 so you can find more there. What I will tell you is that you have to become involved in your community and organizations both offline and online. I was asked to talk about this topic and this a bit bad, but you need to know some of my history so that I can share with you what helped me and hopefully will help you. I've served on the President's Committee for the CEO of Century 21 for the last four years and worked on some very special beta projects that allowed my wife Carol and I to travel four times a year and I learned from some very, very successful business people. I'm involved with my church and my faith is very important to me. Over 75% of us believe in a higher power, so it's okay to talk about faith and lean on it. I'm involved in helping the Beaverton Chamber of Commerce. I serve on the board of directors for the chamber, and it has been a great experience, and it continues to build new relationships and business. The chamber has an incredible two-year program. It's called Leadership, and it's all about learning about the city and the needs of the community, including the good and the not so good, such as homeless, children issues, and problems all cities and communities have. And what programs, resources, and education are available to help, and how you and I can help. So it's not all about business and making money, absolutely not. I was taught when you volunteer your time, something shifts inside and your heart grows. We believe that you get by giving. I had the honor recently of helping with social media on a political campaign and it was another amazing experience. I learned so much and met some fantastic individuals and I'm looking forward to that future. I and my company participate in over 10 local and national charity organizations annually. When I say participate, I don't mean writing a check, I mean volunteering. And this experience has been one of the most rewarding and eye-opening experiences of my life. All these opportunities I enjoy tremendously and get me in front of many people I don't know. And many of them I call friends now. But how did I really do it? What I learned from my father and others was you have to have good people around you to help you. I have a small group of great people I call my soul backers. Thank you that I can talk to anytime and share with and they support me tremendously. How do you get into these organizations? Here are a few tips. Figure out what impact you want to have with these groups. 
Identify the top people of these groups and start being seen by them and engage them. Attend meetings and personally volunteer to help with projects in these organizations you are involved with. Find the members and engage them on social media sites. It's so easy. Find them, comment on what's important to them, and get involved on and offline with them. When you find them on social media sites, use video so you can be seen quicker and easily. Now, I know many of you just tuned out because I said you need to use video. Listen, if you want to be seen and get involved with groups of people, you are going to need to be seen. So whether you use video or not, eventually people are going to really see you as you are. And with video, they see you sooner. So why are you worried? Get started. Certainly because I've done over 200 videos over the years, it has made a big impact in many areas, including business. We use video inside our company to get information to our agents and staff on a regular basis. We use video to reply to internet leads, communicate with existing clients, give market updates, talk about community events, interview business owners, and wishing folks happy birthday. <coughs> Next, there's a common thread among many of the successful people that I hang with and that is regular exercise. I'm fighting a cold right now. It happens to all of us. Not only will you feel better when you exercise, but you look better and you will act better. I'm going to finish with this story. Many of you know this. The last 14 months, my wife and I both had serious medical events and surgeries. You can find out about those tough situations at our video blog, MrC21.com. Look for the story, My Fight with Cancer. And soon you'll see a story about the hardest thing I have ever had to live through. My wife Carol had a catastrophic life event and, it's, and is still healing from it when all the doctors said she wasn't going to or supposed to survive. She's doing really well. These events and strategies have changed how we live and helped bring things into perspective and hopefully will help you be more successful in all the areas of your life. Enjoy life every day.